What it do, T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, and I am here with a brand new Fashion Killer video. Today, we'll be going over the Love & Marriage DC Season 2 Part 2 Confessional Looks video. So, the season has wrapped, but... The cast still had a lot more looks that they had to get out, honey. I have never seen so many confessional looks in one season from one cast. But the DC cast said, honey, we got clothes, we got fashion, and we need to show them off. Let's get right into it. First up, we have Miss Winter Williams, and I must say her hair is everything. I love this ponytail with this kinky curly hair. It is slicked up, honey, and it is just styled to perfection. Her makeup looks wonderful. I love the drop earrings. Everything is just done right. It's not too much going on. You know, the makeup is just right. It's just enough. It's not overboard doing too much. The color palette is correct. Everything looks nice. I also really like this wrap dress on her. It fits her body wonderfully. She could have showed a little bit of cleavage. She didn't have to pin it up. Like, you ain't in church, Winter. You ain't in church. <laughs> now that I'm getting a better look at the earrings, I don't like them. The earrings are way too gaudy, way too big, and doing too much. The hair is the statement piece already. You didn't need to do all of that with the earring. I wish it just would have been one single drop earring you know all of that is giving me chandelier i don't know why this reminds me of an afro pick that's bedazzled i cannot stand these god awful earrings i feel like that's where they messed up everything else i really truly like so i'm gonna give winter a fashion killer next up we have joy and clifton and i like this color palette on them you can tell that they tried to be somewhat in, in sync with one another with just not blatantly wearing the same color but they're in the same color realm let's start with Clifton I love this on him I really wasn't feeling his other confessional looks this season I felt like they were just way too laid back but this I actually like I think that the white collar shirt is fitted very nicely um the vest is tailored to perfection it fits his body he looks nice he looks dapper and he looks put together, but it's not extreme and overboard. It's classic and it's tasteful. Joy, I like this sparkly, like burgundy, red wine colored dress that she has on. Loving the deep V. Add some sex appeal to it because this could be very grandma. This could be very matronly. This could be very much Dillard's women's section. <laughs> but... Um, I like her hair pulled back with the extensions in it. The earrings are a little bit Vanna White, you know, a little bit old school throwback. You know, we could have did something a little more edgier and current. But overall, I think that she looks really pretty and they make a really handsome couple. So I'm going to give them a fashion killer. Mr. Jamie Tyler is up to bat. And I like this. I really do. Um, I wish that maybe he wouldn't have had on a black button up underneath this because it's so much black on black on black but I think it would have popped a little bit more if he might have worn like a different color shirt I don't really want to say white I don't know I think that I really like this when I saw it on camera I think that I really was going up for this I like the um color of his blazer it's kind of giving me like a smoked out goldish color with a hint of green in it I like the pattern I love the black lapels he looks nice he looks really really nice he looks dapper he looks put together he looks like a gentleman it's giving me 007 well you know what he did used to be a police officer so <laughs> that's why it's giving me police officer vibes undercover New York undercover okay yeah, Jamie looks really nice. I'm going to give him a fashion killer. Everybody's doing good so far. Miss Winter Williams is back up again. And this time she is serving us with a genie ponytail. It's really long and off to the side. Little braid. Giving us Beyonce Met Gala 2015. Um, it's cute. You know, I'm just sick of this hairstyle. I'm just so sick of it. Like, can we let it go? Can we let it go? Where is Elsa when you need her? It is not frozen. Okay. Um, it looks cute though. Winter has a face to pull it off. She has a very youthful, really pretty face. I love her makeup. The earrings, tasteful, tasteful. Not big and gaudy, tastefully done. The titties are titty in, honey. They got them suckers strapped up, lifted, 
pulled apart. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. They look like two ripe melons, two ripe cantaloupes. All right. Yes. Come on, winter with the boobs. Um, you can tell that winter is in a good place in her life. She seems happy and effervescent, honey. You can tell she over there with that man, honey. And he is over there cracking her back several times a day. You can tell. Um, I love this white uh dress i love the deep v it looks like it fits her wonderfully she looks really pretty you can't hate on it i just think that the hairstyle is a little juvenile but over other than that i think that she looks stunningly beautiful she reminds me of winter with this outfit so i'm going to give her a fashion killer here we go with the foolishness here we go with the foolishness look at her, look at how uh, her own husband looking at her like i can't believe she got me sitting next to her with this pillow <laughs> this throw pillow on her head like what is this what is this you are not rapunzel I... okay let's talk about black in this uh suit um i like the suit his tie is crooked though i wish somebody would have fixed his tie uh i like the three-piece suit um it looks like either it's the material or his, his tummy might be a little on the chunkier side but he looks nice. I just wish that they would have gotten um, his tie and stuff together because that throws everything off. But he looks nice. He he looks nice. But Sherelle played too much. She really plays too much. I think that she thought that she was in Beyonce's Lemonade or something. Girl, no. No. I like that she was trying to do something different, something Afrocentric. But uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. No. Like, did she want a double dutch? Because it looked like you can double dutch with her hair. <laughs> like, literally. Like, no, 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 no. Um, This blazer, this sequin blazer, it's it's nice. You know, it fits with her husband. I just wish she would have did something more simplistic with the hair. Because this is just a lot going on. And Sherelle is a really beautiful woman. Um, I just think that the choices... <laughs> the choices um aren't choicing <laughs> um i wish better decisions were made on her behalf you know um you know this is her first season so prayfully you know this the second season even though it's done filming you know we'll we'll get we'll, we'll jesus we'll get something better we'll get something better because this is giving me don't go chasing waterfall this is like what left eye would have worn back in 1998 and uh left eye is long gone may she rest in peace yeah this is a no bueno i'm gonna have to give them a roll kill <laughs> Joy is back again, and this time she has her hair braided to the back where her locks braided um, to the back. And I like the hairstyle. It's cute on her. I like the little hoop earrings. They're, you know, small and delicate. Um, she has on another beaded plunging neckline dress, but this one has a high neck with a keyhole split in the middle. Um, I like it. I think that it's really pretty. I just think that she's wearing the same silhouette too much you know i want you to switch it up do something different and not be so safe like give us something else she looks pretty you know it's not over the top is you know doing enough but i want her to switch it up so i'm gonna give her a fashion fine for this look because i need for you to do something outside of something that's sparkly with a deep v <laughs> yeah, i don't even know if that sound like a bird or a duck or whatever but uh she's giving me Tweety Bird with this look, Irena. Um, I hate the earrings. Those earrings are god awful. No, no, absolutely not on those earrings. Why, why, why was that a choice? Why was that even a recommendation that should have been nowhere near you or around you? Um, I don't even like her bob in this picture. I hate the pink lipstick. The dress on camera looked nice. Um, it's not my style. It's very pageant. It's very Miss America. Um, I think that it looks nice on her body, but I just hate the hair, makeup, and the accessories. I even hate the white nails. It's just giving me prom 2023. Like, abs no, 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 no. She like a ghetto Tweety Bird. No, roadkill. 
Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is how you show up to a confessional look. Let's get something that is current, that is trending, that is edgy, that is fashion, that you don't get from out of a bridal section at a store. They look good. DJ Quick, Quick, whatever, Silver, whatever this man name is, is giving me 2023 Carl Thomas with this white <laughs> turtleneck. Summer rain, sweet rain. Yes, I'm loving this. His hair is crisp, fried, dyed, and laid to the side. He got all of the Beijing in his hair, honey. Lining is on point. Love the white blazer. Could have dealt without the chain, but he looks Fantastic. It's such a classic, sophisticated look. Now, uh, Ashley, loving her hair, loving this one big curl swoop to the side with her high ponytail, the bun. This dress gives me Mugler vibes or Hervé Leger uh, vibes. It is stunning and her body looks phenomenal in this. The makeup is on point. Everything is just perfection they look like some heavenly r&b angels this is stunning i gotta give it to ashley she might have a nasty disposition honey and a deranged way of looking at friendships but the girl can dress she honestly had the best confessional looks this season this dress is stunning and you know you gotta be real careful wearing white honey because white makes you look bigger and she looks great quick looks great they both look phenomenal. This look is perfection. Fashion killer. Now you see how he went from looking like Carl Thomas to looking like Fred Hammond. <laughs> this puke yellow suit needs to be thrown away. I hate this color. No, it looked like an unripened banana. No. And then you wearing the turtleneck again. Like, why are we repeating looks? No, everything about this is wrong. Everything about this is giving me Deacon Quicksilver and he is about to give morning worship. <laughs> Pass the collection plate. Roadkill. Sherelle in black are up next. He looks like he is Brother Malcolm. <laughs> or... Quick look like he the deacon. He look like he is Bishop. <laughs> Bishop Black. <laughs> ah, I don't like anything about this suit. He look like he got this from Men's Warehouse. No, no. It just gives so old school throwback. A&E Baptist Church. No, and she look like she the first lady. <laughs> um, The Black ombre going into that you know dusty brown with the crinkles i hate the hair the hair is just abysmal the dress though looks nice on her i just don't like the color this yellow mustard color i just it i don't like it i would have loved this in like red or cobalt blue or even black this would have looked stunning it fits her body really well though it gives her a waist you know, it's snatching her up. The boobs look good. I just hate the hair. The hair does not go with this look at all. And I wish that you could see like an earring. Like this needed some type of jewelry somewhere. So I'm going to give uh, Bishop Black <laughs> a roll kill. And I'm going to give Sherelle a roll kill. Sorry. I understand they filmed this during the winter time. But how many turtlenecks does Quick have? How many, Jesus? How many? He looked like he a coach at a HBCU. <laughs> I don't like this. I, let me take that back. It's not bad. It's just you're doing the same look over and over again, I guess, because it's safe and it works. But switch it up. Switch it up. And I don't like these chains. These chains make it look classless. Like, be a man. You know what I'm saying? Look debonair. You know? Uh, I'm gonna give him a fashion fine. I don't need to see that man in not one more turtleneck. Thank God. Okay, and this one, he's in an actual tuxedo. I wish he would sit up and act like he actually wants to be there. He looks like a little kid in time out. <laughs> Quick always be looking like, okay, I got five minutes. I'm gonna say what I gotta say and I gotta get up out of here and go to the next job. Um, it looks nice. It looks nice. I wish that if she, if he was gonna be in a tuxedo, I wish that her, 
outfit would have matched his swag because her outfit is giving me he's going to like a corporate brunch or like a Mother's Day event with a lot of other black women. <laughs> like it just, they it don't match. Like the color palette is there. I like the black and white, but he looks like he's going to a gala and she looks like she's going to a, a brunch or something. Um, I like this outfit on Ashley. I think it's cute, um, but considering everything else I've seen her wear this season, her confessionals, you know, this is something that I could have seen her wear in an actual scene on the show. Um, the hair, y'all know I can't stand this hairstyle. I'm just so over it. Uh, I wish that she would have done more with this look, but I, she slayed the game so hard in that white look. I, I gotta just, you know, let her have a, a pass on this one. So I'm going to give them a fashion fine because quick just don't look like he want to be there at all. Missy Raina is back in one of her pageant dresses. Baby, you cannot tell me that a Raina closet isn't just filled with dresses from the clearance section at David's Bridal. <laughs> if it ain't sequin and sparkly and stoned, she don't want to wear it. This is one of her better looks. You know, it's doing a lot. I like the gold and the black. The earrings don't even really bother me with this look. The hair is cool. You know, she looks nice. She looks put together. It's hard to make Irena look bad because she has a really nice shape and everything. But these dresses are just so throwback. So throwback. And I need for her to let it go. Let it go. I'm going to give her a fashion. Mm. I'm going to give her a fashion fine because this just reminds me of something that we would have saw Kenya Moore in when she was, you know, trying out to be Miss USA or whichever title she won. So you guys, those are all the looks from the second half of season two of Love and Marriage DC. By far, I'm gonna have to give the best dress confessional looks to Ashley. She slayed the game. She did the dang on thing, honey. Um, as far as the guys, I'm gonna have to give it to Jamie and my worst dress woman as far as her confessional looks are is going to have to go to Sherelle and my worst dress man is going to have to go to quick most improved goes to winter winter really stepped her game up this season love this season loved all the fashions can't wait to the next season to see what they're going to bring you guys let me know who are your favorites as far as the confessional looks are concerned and who are your least favorite Make sure you guys thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button. I love you all and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.